you know, you got this fantasy in your head about getting out of the life and setting the corporate world on its ear. This is a small introductory to the gallery life, art life, this is what we're doing. We're giving you our lifestyle, we're giving you our talents, we're giving you our passion and our entrepreneurial minds, all on video. Guess what we're gonna do is give y'all a little, a little taste of the art life. Yeah. Nobody in the dungeon, dungeon. But this is where like 95% of all our creativity, all the artwork, uh, not a lot of the clothing stuff. Cause that's really like hand sketched, and then we get into the graphic design stuff or whatever. And uh, then we did all that stuff run with that materials and everything. The piece right here. That's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be like a Basquiat inspired piece right there on wood. It's called Focused on My Money. That's really crazy. We just implemented that to the uh, to the clothing line. We just came out with a line of hoodies to like uh, you know bring that bring that face to life in the everyday everyday uh, atmosphere. Three piece painting that I'm working on. Well, actually, I'm almost done. I just got filling some of these green spots or whatever. But um, sending it out to Fort Lauderdale um, maybe about a week or two. Top of the dome with it, or rotten lyrics. They ain't roasting a million liquid, don't form in it. Wanna let nobody in here, man. Got the studio in a sample room in one house. Like, uh, this is a couple other samples, you know what I'm saying? Different designs. You know, the logo. You already know the logo. Uh, a couple things I'm just working on, man. A couple of uh, artsy, gallery like prints. Crazy one right here. This is going to be a $10 million seller, I already know. This whole room kind of tell a story. This door is like way, 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 way deeper than like just like a bunch of colors and stuff like that on it. Like this door got like, and up here this beam got like probably 90% of my past homies that died. You see, rest in peace TH, rest in peace Drez, rest in peace Tom Tom, rest in peace Pop. You know, before I was totally, totally focused on what I wanted to do, it was a lot of you know, trans situations that would go down in here with all the, all my friends that's actually up here. Like they will all be in here chilling, and they will always be like, "Yo, what's going on in here, dog?" And it's like for me to really like focus on this and do this now, like a hundred percent, strictly positive, no negative. It's like for them not to be here, but for me to still do my work and look at their names and just like it's just like a little depressing, but. It's, it's more motivation than anything. You know, they was always telling me to do this, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was trying to do other things in the midst of me not having no money and, you know, going through different crazy times in my life, they always said, do your art. I stuck to it and I'm just mad that they not here, but I'm gonna definitely represent for them. If you got passion, do it. Even if nobody feeling you even if nobody's like helping you just do it man just keep it professional keep it humble gallery like tv saladin tv you're on the dungeon nobody else is coming back here man this is a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview just enjoy it man because it's going down